Today we are going to teach you a recipe that you can have for breakfast or for supper. Um, today is 7 December and Ghanaians went to the polls. So we are here watching the news as the media houses report and we decided to make this as a snack. It's around 11 p.m. It's a simple recipe that you can prepare with things in your fridge. If you want to find out more, please continue watching. This is Time with Dr. Adams and please subscribe. Time with Dr. Adams. Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Time with Dr. Adams. Today we are going to make egg spinach omelet or casserole. I will bake mine and see you fry yes. Keep watching. So these are ingredients for the omelet, the spinach omelet or the casserole. So we have um, oil, spinach, um, eggs, salt to taste. Um, these are chopped frozen um, spring onions with carrots, we have cheese, prosciutto, um, tomatoes and then onions. We are going to prepare them for you to see and of course you can add black pepper for taste. Okay. These are eggs mixed with prosciutto. Um, this is a grated cheese. We have uh, oil here. We have uh, chopped carrots, um, onions, spring onions, tomatoes, and spinach. We, we just have to stir fry them for about a minute or two. So you can use olive oil or butter. We're just going to stir fry the veggies. So I'll start with the onions. So we've stir fried or sauteed the vegetables. Um, remember, boss, that he has one and this is mine, so I shed into two. So we are going to put them into the eggs. Going to put them into the eggs. Then we are going to mix. That's mine. I'm adding cheese to mine. Ross Daddy doesn't want cheese in his, so I'm adding cheese to mine. We already added sauce to it, so that's okay. So that's mine with cheese. And this Ross Daddy's in without cheese. I'm going to fry mine and he's going to bake his. 
So you add a little oil to the baking pan, the baking pan. I've washed my hands already, so. So I'll just pour the mixture into the baking pan. So you pour it gently. Oven is preheated, so I'll just put the pan in and then leave it for some few minutes. So you can use oil, butter, you can use more butter you want. Then you will add I'll just pop it out with the chicken. I want it to cook well, so I'll just line it. And I'll turn it up. This, yes, is it mozzarella? Cheese mozzarella? What's in there? Cheese. You can use any kind of cheese you want, actually. Okay, then I'll cover this. Because I want the heat to be in there, so I'll just cover it. We'll come back in a few minutes to check. So checking for boys daddy. It's almost done. Almost. Almost. So this is my omelet. Looking so good. Tell me briefly. I'm covering it again just for some few minutes. So I think my omelet is ready. I'm going to put it off and wait for post that it's all. Oh, mine is ready and it looks good. Hi, so we are back. This is mine. Um, it's the same ingredients, but I added uh, cheese to mine and I fried it. He baked this without cheese. It's when it's... <laughs> so let's taste mine first. Hmm, I didn't make the comment. Oh, it is nice. No, I like that. I put it on the side. It is, it is, it is. I don't really taste the cheese. I think it was small. Yeah. Let's try it. Okay. So long, sure. Cause of the food. Cause of the food. Cause of the food. Cause of the food. Cause of the So, as you were saying with us, you can try the story. You can try this this Christmas season as you are celebrating whoever won the election. So, whoever had a stock of flat. But you can try this with your family and friends. Do you have anything to say? Yes, you can try it during this festive season. It's very easy to make. Yeah. Um, thank you for staying with us. This was Time with Dr. Adam. Leave your comments, your questions in the comment section below. I like food. So I'll see you in another episode. Please be kind to each other. Remember, still, you see me. Bye.
time we don't go.